So when I'm looking at the forest, I'm looking for the color and the state of the branches. I want something that has bark on it, um, but it looks like it's recently died. Diane Hoagland is on a treasure hunt. We're out here to show you, I would say, some very overlooked aspects of biodiversity in Edmonton's River Valley. She's searching for something so tiny, it's tough to see with the naked eye. Calisioids. So it's kind of the equivalent of a tiny mushroom. Perhaps because of their size, they've been hiding, unknown to science. We didn't know what it was. It had this tiny little stalk, you know, 0.2 of a millimeter tall. As a lichenologist with the Alberta Biodiversity Monitoring Institute, Hoagland and her team found something unusual about a decade ago. And it all started when a twig came across my desk. So they started testing it. So we squashed it, we did scanning electron microscopy, we did DNA work, we sent it to experts in Maine, to sent it to experts in Ottawa. After years of research, it turns out it's new. In fact, the team found 13 new species across the province. In Edmonton, the two previously unknown calisioids live on birch trees and roses. When you get forests that have a lot of calisioid lichens and fungi, that typically means it's a pretty special place and it's been around for a while and it's probably worth conserving. Globally, only two or three new lichens or fungi are found annually. After discovering them, Hoagland also got to name them finally publishing their work in the Bio One journal this fall. So now that we've described it, uh, anybody in the world can read our description and they can start to look for these new species in their backyards and hopefully they'll find them. But there's not a lot else known about these calisioids yet. Are they new or just newly discovered? Where in the world can they be found? How long do they live? How do they get their energy? That's the joy of science really, is that there's so much more to learn about these things. Putting a name on them is just really the first step. Sarah Ryan, Global News.